This isn't just another comet. Three Atlas is the third confirmed visitor from beyond our solar system, and what we've found inside has stunned scientists. Michio Kaku now warns this interstellar object might not be alone. Its chemistry is alien, its path impossible, and it's showing signs we've seen this before. Could Atlas be the front of a galactic wave? Could it carry the seeds of life or a warning? We finally opened it. What we found changes everything. Tracking the last five interstellar visitors to understand why Michio Kaku is sounding the alarm. Now we have to look at what's already come through. The story begins in October 2017 when astronomers discovered Oumuamua, the first confirmed interstellar object. It entered the solar system from the direction of the Lyra constellation, moved at a speed of 87.7 kilometers and had an eccentricity over 1.2, confirming it was unbound. Its cigar-like shape, lack of a visible coma and strange acceleration left scientists debating its nature even today. Two years later, in August 2019, a second object was spotted, 2i Borisov. Unlike Oumuamua, Borisov had all the hallmarks of a comet, outgassing, a tail, and a nucleus. But its speed, direction, and chemical profile clearly showed it came from beyond the sun's influence. It moved at 32 kilometers s and had a hyperbolic orbit traced to the Perseus constellation. For the first time, scientists had an interstellar object with active chemistry to study in real time. The fact that two such bodies arrived in under 24 months raised eyebrows. Then came 3i Atlas, discovered on July 1, 2025 by the Atlas Survey in Chile. Early detection data from ZTF and tests showed it had crossed Neptune's orbit in May 2025. Its velocity of 26.3 km s and hyperbolic orbit placed it firmly in the interstellar category. But Atlas was different. Its coma was dominated by CO2, not water. Its tail was lobed, not linear, and its surface activity seemed structured. This wasn't just a repeat of Borisov. It was an escalation in complexity, chemistry, and size. Beyond these three, scientists now believe there may have been at least two more interstellar intruders, micrometeoroids or fragments that burned in Earth's atmosphere. In 2014, a fast-moving meteor exploded near Papua New Guinea, later reclassified as potentially interstellar. If 3i Atlas isn't alone, we need to understand what else might be arriving. Strange pre-discovery data, unusual coma activity, and growing evidence of interstellar debris clouds suggest that Atlas may have brought company. Evidence that 3i Atlas came with company. Even before 3i Atlas reached its closest approach, astronomers began noticing something odd. Between May and July 2025, as the object crossed the orbits of Neptune and Uranus, several ground-based telescopes detected diffuse dust clouds trailing its projected path. Observatories like PANSTARS, VLT, and even amateur stations recorded transient streaks, objects too faint to classify but moving on similar trajectories. Scientists began to suspect that Atlas was shedding fragments or travelling alongside companions. Webb and Hubble added to the mystery. On August 12, 2025, JWST's MIRI instrument captured a wide coma arc that appeared asymmetrical, heavier on one side. When scientists ran coma modeling simulations, they concluded the shape could only be explained by one of two possibilities. Either Atlas was actively venting gas and rotating jets, or a secondary body had briefly entered and exited its coma region. Hubble imaging from August 18th also picked up a small, fast-fading dust flare 80,000 kilometers behind Atlas. Too brief to confirm, but compelling. More compelling still were the signs from older satellite data. TESS NASA's All-Sky Surveyor had archived a dim, diffuse light pulse near Atlas's entry vector in late June 2025. The signature didn't match any known asteroid or comet. In a paper published by researchers at MIT, it was proposed that this signal may have been a precursor fragment perhaps smaller than Atlas, but following close behind or ahead. If true, this would mark the first confirmed grouped interstellar entry in modern astronomy. Kaku used this data to issue a stark conclusion. We're likely seeing the arrival of clusters, not single objects. He compared it to the Shoemaker Levy, 9 Comet, 
which struck Jupiter in 1994 in a chain of 21 fragments, the question now shifts from what is traveling with Atlas to what it is made of. When the James Webb Space Telescope targeted 3I Atlas on August 6, 2025, it used its NIR spec and MIRI instruments to do more than take images. It conducted a full spectral analysis. The results stunned the scientific community. The coma wasn't dominated by water ice as seen in typical comets. Instead, carbon dioxide, CO2, made up over 80% of the detected volatile gases. This CO2 to water ratio of 8.1 was six standard deviations above the norm for solar system bodies. The presence of other molecules was no less dramatic. Webb picked up clear signatures of carbon monoxide, CO, hydrogen cyanide, HCN, and carbonyl sulfide, OCS. In addition, there were subtle traces of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHEs, complex organics often associated with prebiotic chemistry. Scientists from the NASA Astrobiology Institute quickly pointed out that this combination had never been seen in a comet before. Data from the SphereX mission further supported these findings, offering all-sky infrared context. SphereX recorded light curves from June to August 2025, capturing early outgassing events as Atlas passed the orbits of Saturn and Jupiter. These flares weren't chaotic, they were periodic, possibly driven by a rotation cycle that exposed subsurface jets. Hubble added high-resolution imaging of sublimation plumes in mid-August. Their arcs were tight and consistent, suggesting internal structure beneath the crust, not the random eruptions of a typical comet. Michio Kaku highlighted these results to argue that Atlas was not just interstellar, it was exceptional. Its chemical makeup, he noted during a press briefing on September 2, 2025, suggested it formed near a CO2 snow line far from its star, or perhaps in a low metallicity system where water ice was rare. Either way, Atlas carried a unique fingerprint, one that hinted at a distant, unfamiliar kind of planetary system. Using trajectory data from Webb, Gaia DR3, and ground-based observations, astrophysicists traced the inbound path of 3I Atlas. The result was astonishing. Its velocity vector intersected with the Milky Way's thick disk, a population of old stars formed between 7.6 and 14 billion years ago. This region far above the galactic plane is quiet, ancient and rarely sends debris our way. Yet here came Atlas, moving at 58 kilometers, unbound and seemingly ejected from deep time. The leading theory is that Atlas was expelled by a gravitational event, either a giant planet in its home system or a nearby stellar flyby. Its hyperbolic excess velocity suggests it was not just tossed, but hurled violently from its origin point, likely millions or even billions of years ago. For it to survive intact across such distances implies both a strong internal structure and extreme luck. Dust, radiation and impacts could have destroyed it, but it endured. Further evidence came from isotopic ratios observed in the coma. The deuterium to hydrogen ratio, DH, was significantly higher than in local comets. Additionally, scientists found anomalously low levels of carbon-13 and nitrogen-15, suggesting formation in a metal-poor environment. These chemical fingerprints matched no known solar system body. They pointed to formation conditions tied to the early galaxy, perhaps near a population 2 star, or in a young, unstable disk. Even with this ancient pedigree, Atlas wasn't frail. It wasn't a crumbling rock. It was massive, intact, and actively venting gas. Initial size estimates for 3i, Atlas varied widely. At first, the coma brightness made it difficult to pinpoint the nucleus. But by August 20th, 2025, data from Hubble and JWST's NIR cam helped constrain its radius to less than 2.8 kilometers. Still, early models based on CO2 output suggested it could be as large as 10 to 20 kilometers if its surface was highly reflective. Either way, it dwarfed Oumuamua and Borisov in both mass and volume. What surprised researchers most was Atlas's resilience. Most comets traveling interstellar distances are thought to fragment or erode significantly. Yet, Atlas remained coherent. Its mass loss rate, estimated between 6 and 60 kilos per second, was surprisingly stable, 
suggesting a robust crust. The fact that the nucleus retained structure despite close solar passes in October 2025 showed it had likely survived much harsher environments before. Infrared mapping showed a surface marked by fractures, but also solid crustal patches, possibly areas where volatiles had already been depleted. Sublimation jets were observed erupting in patterns every 13.2 hours, suggesting a complex tumbling spin. Radar echo simulations proposed an oblong shape, but with a high moment of inertia, indicating internal cohesion, not a rubble pile. By late August 2025, it was official. 3i Atlas was traveling on a hyperbolic orbit with an eccentricity of 3.4, well beyond the gravitational grip of our sun. This meant one thing. It would only pass through the solar system once. Using data from Webb, Gaia, and dozens of ground-based observatories, astronomers plotted its course with unprecedented accuracy. Its inbound speed of 26.3 km SS and its projected outbound trajectory confirmed it came from deep interstellar space and would return to it shortly. Its closest approach to the Sun, or perihelion, occurred on October 29, 2025, at a distance of 1.36 AU, just beyond Earth's orbit. It had passed Mars on October 3rd, Venus on November 3rd, and would miss Earth by a comfortable 1.8 AU on December 19th. 